Good morning. We just finished breakfast at this nice little bakery here in Mackinac, and we're going on a good one today. We're going across the water into Lake Huron to Mackinac Island, an island that is focused on nature and preserving that. In fact, there are no cars allowed there. It's uh, mainly like bicycles to get around. So, looking forward to it. It's supposed to be super beautiful. We have to take a ferry to get there. So, we're going up to the ferry terminal right now, and uh, I think it's about 15, 20 minute boat ride to get there. And that's the only way in and out of the island right now. So we'll see it. We'll maybe get some bikes, maybe we'll walk around. Not sure yet, not sure what to expect. So here it is. This is the terminal itself. It's about noon right now. And uh, looks like there's a bit of a line, but it shouldn't be too long to get across. Let's see. Oh, day parking is free. Let's see. Round trip, $36. We got this nice little coupon as well. Hello. How are you? Good. Me too. Yes. And I had that coupon. Oh, I gave it to you, right? Yep, you gave it to me. Going for the day? Yeah, just round trip for both of us. bikes going with you? Nope, just us on foot. Okay. Great. All right. 36 a person is a good seat. Hey, wait a second, 36. Oh no, should you give us a discount? Uh, 34, yeah, 34 a person with our coupon. It's a little steep, considering that the only way to get here is uh, without having a tiny plane, is to take the ferry or the other ferry, which is the same price. So, pretty much a little racket here, but happy to do it. Two tickets. He probably gets to ride for free, lucky. These boats always hold more than I expect. The whole line has already gone on and they're still boarding, so we might make it or we'll be the like first people cut off as we always are. <laughs> Still pretty good. Wow, what a view of the bridge. This trip's about 16 minutes. It would be really nice to be up on the top. This kind of sucks that we're being. You can still see it, but that's the bridge. Island is out there. sighting here. Technically haven't made it to the island yet. We're still on the dock, but almost there. Oh. This is the island. No cars, just walking bikes. Pretty cool. Pretty nice so far. It's busy. Very, very busy. This is the shuttle to the Grand Hotel, that big white building that I showed from the boat. The fanciest place on the island, supposedly. So yeah, even the hotel shuttle by horse, which is pretty unique. Feels old fashioned, feels old timey. This is the main road. I mean, we just got off, sprayed some sunscreen. And you can see busy streets here and then down this way, you can see how everyone has bikes. That's how they get around. So we're gonna figure out where to go next. And, uh, oh, can you know, oh, the taxi cab, here's a taxi. <laughs> Want to know what the definition of irony is? So no motorized vehicles allowed. And there's like Amish people here on an electric scooter. That's too funny. <laughs> the only people 
in sight that are using a motorized vehicle and are the Amish people. I'm sure she needs it, but it's just kind of, it's just funny. <laughs> there are a few things we want to do on the island while we're up here. And uh, one of them is to see the arch. So we're going to go there. The arch is a natural rock formation that's supposed to be super cool. So we're on our way there. It's about a 20 minute walk. We'll see what we see on the way. And then uh, that'll be one of the highlights for sure. Friday, July 7th. Could we have picked a busier day in the entire summer to come? Probably not. We have our journey picked out. So we're gonna see a few things that we know what they are and a few things that we don't know what they are. So we're in Marquette Park right now, which is just off the water here. You can see we're not very far. Very nice park. There's some statues. And then behind, a, behind the camera is Fort Mackinac. So there's a fort up there, which we'll explore a little bit, see what they have to offer. There's the governor's summer mansion over there, which we'll look at. Something called Skull Cave. Don't know what it is, but it sounds interesting. So we'll check that out. And then that kind of leads us towards the arch. So we got a, quite a few spots from here to the arch. It's like 20 minute walk. So probably five minutes between each thing and the gorgeous day. So it'll be a lot of fun. Here's a wall to the fort. Been here for hundreds of years, overlooking the water. Look at this, you can see those lighthouses we came by. Really fantastic. This is the Michigan governor's mansion, I guess cottage. So if you're the governor, you have access to this. Nice little park, just up the hill here off the water it's pretty got nice roses i don't know how much it actually gets used besides the fire hydrant and the obvious modern bicycles you could be totally fooled that you have gone back in time it's very interesting this is the outside of the fort which we'll come up to in a minute get a quick look at that on the way to the rocks but it feels like this place hasn't changed in 100 200 years which is mostly true standing outside the walls of Fort Mackinac and you can see there's actual holes for cannons American flag flying proud above it this fort was an active fort from 1790 to 1895 I believe it's the years that I saw and uh, now it's a you know museum you get tour through I don't know if we're gonna pay the price of admission but it's definitely cool to see even just from the outside Oh, 1780 to 1895, so pretty close. But yeah, this uh, played a pivotal role in uh, American military history and still stands today. Maybe a little bit lower tech than some of the other uh, forts we have these days <laughs> with uh, wood pylons, holes cut out. I wonder what we can see down here. Let's see. There's uh, stone walls would have been very impenetrable it's also on such a remote part up here i guess to protect from a northern invasion from canada at the time let's see oh saying don't go in oh cool looks pretty neat they preserve it as a you know as how it probably looked at the time the walls are quite thick look at this look at this stone work so yeah i'm sure this would not have been easy to get into for both european and native invaders so you can see here mackinac state historic parks these are all the different sites within this area and uh, we came from the city we passed by the governor's residence and uh, we're at the fort now we're gonna head to the arch rock so about a half a mile up this way we don't have a horse or a carriage, but I think we can get there pretty easily on foot. If you're interested, you could pause the video here and read this. It's, it's pretty cool. It's actually very interesting, more than I thought happened here. The 1980 movie, Somewhere in Time, was filmed at the Grand Hotel here. And a lot of the shots in the movie are from this island and also from, I believe, the other side of the bridge um, in the Lower Peninsula. But this is, uh, if you know the movie, this is the famous gazebo that was in it. Still stands today. If 
here's a little tidbit about the gazebo and when it was moved here and whatnot. Pretty cool. Sometimes as I'm making these videos, I just find a, like, a little spot that's so perfect and so beautiful. I never know if it really translates to the camera, but watch this. There's like this little cutout in the trees looking into the woods. You see the shadows and the light going through the trees. It's almost like a painting. It's gorgeous. I decided to go in the trees here. There's something called Anne's tablet, which we actually have no idea what it is. But there's a little sign. Oh, it's nice. Oh, it's really nice. So we're, this was a nice little detour. So, uh oh, a tablet. Okay, this is obviously not like an iPad, but uh, Anne's tablet. So we're gonna figure out what this tablet is. Obviously it has a gorgeous view. So I wonder if it's uh, in remembrance of somebody. Let's see here. Let's see, oh, poems. Okay. We're gonna do a little research and we'll give you an update in a second. I'm a strong believer that you don't have to fully understand something to find it beautiful. And all I know about what's happening here is what's written. And you can see that this is in memory of uh, Constance Finnamore Wilson. And she was an author and a traveler. And in her story, her heroine was named Anne. So that's where Anne comes from. And the poem here talks about her love of the island and the beauty that it held through her art. And you can see here, sketches, dated, and then more importantly, novels, 1882. And there's a few poems as well. Oh, I just hit a tree. Oh, I just hit my head on the tree. The average person sticks to the roads, sticks to the paths that are marked. Here and I here take the uh, way around. We find ourselves in the best spot. Most people pay money to go into the fort to stand right there so they could see, but we see it all right next to it. You can see the Mackinac Bridge its entirety the hill we came up on so we came up down there where i was recording marquette park it was like right around there there's that sign and then you see the city there too way from the top a bit windy this is wonderful gorgeous view good job kara we found the Anne's tablet unexpectedly and it was beautiful. We walked all the way up here, up a hill to Skull Cave. And as we're doing it, a horse and buggy with a tour goes by and you could hear the woman talking in her microphone. She says, is anyone impressed? No, didn't think so. Anyways, next on our trip. <laughs> so Skull Cave is simply uh, a geological formation that you could barely see. Can't go in it, can't do anything. Here's a little history about it. Basically 11,000 years ago, some water wash away the inside of this limestone and it leaves us with a cave today that you can't go into or really see much of. Um, not really sure why this is even marked in comparison to anything else. Yeah. So there's rocks everywhere. But uh, yeah, here's some trees and we are now farther away from the arch, not closer. But as I always say, you win some, you lose some. I think we're gonna go back a little bit because there was a path called the Botanical Trail that goes through the woods towards the arch. So it might be a little more shaded, a little prettier. This road here would take us directly, but I don't think there's anything on it except for a bunch of uh, horse shit that seems to be everywhere. So we'll be on our way to the uh, Botanical Trail. All right, we found our way back to the Botanical Trail. She goes pretty much straight to the arch. So this will be a nice little very shaded, looks beautiful. Shortcut with several different types of flowers and plants we can see along the way. And then we won't get run over by a horse. Only here, out in nature, you find the wild and exclusive tennis courts that are here. So, so far just some trees and a tennis court, but we'll find some more. 
at the beginning of the trail, there was a sign with like four or five different flowers and said, find these along the way. And one had an interesting name. It was called Jack in the Pulpit. And it was like this berry thing. It's actually kind of looks like it, but I'm not sure. Hopefully we found it. That's the Jack in the Pulpit. Although these are like on a tree and in the picture, it looked like it was almost coming out of like a leaf or something. It was slightly different, but eh, we'll count it. We don't know any better. Was this what we just saw? Maybe it wasn't a jack in the pulpit. Maybe it was yeah. red baneberry. Not sure. Now we're just being teased. Red Mary Elder. Okay, so that yeah. might have been what we just saw, actually. So there's two others that we didn't. And then there's this. This is not what we saw, I don't think. So obviously everything is a little seasonal, so we don't even know what would be out right now. But there are many types of red berries out here. Some which that will probably kill you if you eat them. Who knows? We won't be trying. If things weren't tough enough, here's another red berry. Yeah, what are they trying to do to us? We just want to find the elusive jack in a pulpit. These are birds. It almost looked like a flower like this with berries coming out. So I'm pretty sure what we saw was not it. There's like eight other types. Oh, here we go, oh, mushrooms. Oh, which ones can we eat? Let's see. That's cool. That looks like a cartoon. Interesting. I think we're almost to the end now. The uh, botanical trail is actually mostly just a trail. Oh my God, look at this, more. This one you know though, we would know this one. Wild strawberry, so another red berry. But um, yeah, the trail's mostly just a trail with some plants that they have labeled, but it's, it's not like a garden or anything. It's a little scenic path. It's actually really close to the main path. I can see people, like where the horses are, it's just like adjacent to us, so. <sighs> Almost there. We've been walking for a long time. I'll admit that was a little bit longer of a walk than we expected, but we've made it. So the arch rock is right back here. Let's check it out. This is the conclusion, the climax, the highlight of our walk. Barely anyone wants to see the rock. They just want to get a selfie. People are more worried about their own picture, but we're gonna get a picture of the rock here. We're next, there's a little bit of a line. Yeah, here it is. I'm gonna try to get a good one. Did you go up Thank in the you. Tea? Wow. I'm taking pictures. Yeah, this is beautiful. Wow. Awesome. That's really cool. Check this guy. Picture. Beautiful. It was a little rushed because we have uh, quite the line to get a picture taken here. But uh, there's another spot up here. Let's see what we find. I think this might be really good too. Oh, yeah. That's really cool with the water back mm -hmm. behind it. Wow. All right, we're gonna go to this lookout over here. This is like the most crowded day ever. Please be careful that. Oh, we'll drop it. Oh, uh, what a view. Wow, look at the water. It's like two colors. This is really cool. Keep off. I could see someone temp being tempted to climb across the top. I could do it. It's not safe, but you could definitely do it. You can see all the rock structures inside of the water. The coastline here, really cool. All right, let's get out of here. It's crazy. Should come in the winter, no one will be here. It was really pretty. Felt a bit rushed from all the people, but super nice. There's this watchtower here up these stairs. After yesterday, Kara's gonna sit the stairs out. <laughs> but these are child's play compared to those uh, stairs in the last video. They were vicious. 
this looks like it's just maybe a hundred stairs or something so it looks like it's just gonna be a better view where you can't see the arch but you can see more of the water so yeah this is not bad at all almost up here already it's nice graffiti oh yeah cool Kind of hard to see with all the trees. Daddy. Can't really see so much. You can see this tower pillar thing that clearly had something in it. Um, there's some screws, but it's missing. So, really not so much to see over here. It's this little path this way. I'm just gonna check it out while I'm up here. See down there, one of the horses. I feel bad for the horses, but I guess they really don't have anything else to do besides pull carriages. There's some people talking about how supposedly well cared for they are here compared to other places, which I guess I can believe that. Why would they? Why not? That's where they live. They really rely on them here. Well, super steep actually, but it's very overgrown. So I think we'll, uh, We'll head back down. That looks cool too, but not really sure where it goes. All right, here's a map of the whole island, give you an idea of what we did. The boats came in right here. This is the ferry that we took. And then this was Market Street where we had all the shops. We went up Fort Street here around the back of Fort Mackinac. And then we went up this way to Skull Cave. And then I think we came back down here. Yeah, and then we took the uh, Arch Rock bicycle trails. Actually, that's the same trail as the botanical trail so we took that to about here and then we cut off we just jumped over the fence came to our truck so now we're gonna head back down we're gonna take this trail here back down to Huron Road and mar make our way back to Market Street where Carol will be buying a book that she'll read in the park and I'll be renting a bike and we'll go somewhere else we found this little offshoot of the trail it said 207 stairs down to the main road so we're gonna do that Pretty cool, pretty nice. Definitely not so hot. Doesn't smell like horses either. I walk, I walk to the arch. Up From there, up we'll be on Lakeshore Drive, which is the main road that goes on the coast. Probably get a good view of the water. We'll be back in the town before we know it. About halfway back, it's a pretty little walk. Looks like there might be a wedding going on. A lot of people in suits have been walking past us. My watch says we walked 5.2 miles, which I believe. So we need to refuel on some something. Hopefully we can get in somewhere. It is so crowded today. This is crazy. Yeah, it's everywhere, look. Everywhere is crowded. This is wild. This whole trip, all Kara wanted was a grilled cheese off the grill. I've been searching for it for the whole time. Finally found one. She's gonna be so happy. <laughs> Just a classic American cheese. Meanwhile, I'm trying to get something for like $40. Simple as good sometimes. You prefer it, huh? Yes. Kara's favorite thing in the world. I'm gonna steal one of these too. <laughs> I wanted to get something fancy to eat. And Kara said, no, let's just get a grilled cheese. And uh, I gotta say, she was right, that was awesome. So now she wants to go shopping. And I'm gonna do what I came here to do. I'm gonna rinse a bike.